How's it going, everybody? Uh, so today I wanted to do a recipe that I've been thinking about making for a while. I was just basically thinking of ways to make my uh, diet more flavorful. Uh, so basically I wanted to make a, a low carb uh, chili so that I can kind of stray away from the regular salt and pepper ground beef that, I'm, that I've been consuming. Um, and I think also too, this is, can be a very uh, great asset to add into my off season as well because having the extra flavor of throwing this over some rice uh, sounds like it would be really good. So this can be a low carb option or it can also be a great option in the off season where you're trying to add food to make it more palatable. So uh, let me go over the ingredients that I have planned out for this. I've never done anything like this before, but I just kind of like all of these ingredients. I think they might go well together. So I have uh, two and a half pounds of great range bison. I got this at Costco. It's where I normally get my bison from. I believe most grocery stores do carry bison as well. Um, I have some tomatoes kind of to create a sauce and a paste. Um, some jalapenos to give it some a little bit of a kick. A red onion as well. And then uh, as far as some of the sauce, I also have uh, chipotle Tabasco. And then for the seasoning, I want to try to keep this recipe pretty simple. So I got a taco seasoning. Um, it has uh, all the spices that you normally would probably use in a chili already mixed together in a packet so it's gonna be really convenient and really easy to do and then just salt and pepper I'm gonna play with those for for taste as well so uh, first thing I'm gonna do for this recipe is I'm going to take my uh, bison I'm gonna cut it open and throw it in the crock pot to kind of get it started it's kind of can get kind of messy sometimes second we're just going to break it up maybe season it lightly okay. I'm going to do uh, three servings of this seasoning which I did the math and uh, per serving of what I eat, which is six ounces, it'll be less than a car one carbohydrate per serving because uh, I want to keep the recipe uh, low carb. So I'm going to do four scoops of this and I'm going to break up the meat. trying to get it in smaller pieces so it cooks more evenly. And then what I'm gonna do later with the salt and pepper is just add that to taste because this mix is probably gonna be pretty salty. Uh, it might not even need its extra salt. That's good. So I think the strategy that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw the tomatoes in right now to get them um, kind of to create a sauce. And then I'm gonna saute the jalapeno and onion and then throw that in as well. So I dice the uh, tomatoes up. Just gonna toss them in. Kind of mix it around. All right now I'm just gonna dice up the onion. I'm only gonna use half the onion and only one jalapeno because I feel like for only two and a half pounds of meat. Um, it might be overkill to use all of it. Oh, I can't see. Close your eyes and see. Okay. All right, there we go. I'll just saute all this. <laughs> Alright, so now I just need to uh, saute the onions and brown them a little bit, give them a little more flavor. And then I'll throw the jalapenos in uh, once the onions are browned. 
And I'm going to put some uh, salt on this as well. Alright, so the onions are starting to brown, so I'm going to throw the uh, jalapenos in with it. started to cook so um, I'm gonna throw in the uh, onions and the, the peppers that I cooked in the pan and with that I'm gonna mix that in and then I'm also adding um, this is a uh, Tabasco the Chipotle kind just a couple uh, tablespoons of that All right, so uh, here we have the final product. Uh, I've tasted it. So it is gonna be a little bit more clean tasting. The goal of this for me, myself was to make it clean so I can eat it during prep. And I think I definitely accomplished that by um, doing this. So this recipe is pretty clean. I think those of you watching could play around with it. it definitely would go good on rice as well. All right, so uh, if you uh, cook the recipe and you like it, leave it in the comments down below. Definitely like to do more of these types of videos in the future. Uh, I definitely tend to get really lazy with my cooking and not do much, so it kind of motivates me to be a little more creative and actually enjoy my diet a little bit more. And ultimately, that's probably the best thing you can do for sustainability is, is add flavor to your, your basic and plain food. So anyway, uh, thank you all for watching.